Charlie, always going to lose any game, particularly when you've been 1-0 up at half time. Uh, we'll pick our way through it. Picked you out for a word because obviously you've scored a nice goal today and we've got a few positives as far as your own form's concerned. Um, talk us through uh, your thoughts on the match today. Um, yeah, like you say, it's disappointing to mm. come away with a loss. Um, I thought they were really good. We knew they were going to be good. Um, I just disappointed going in half time and not getting anything out of it. It's hard to take, yeah. The start of the second half was quite key, wasn't it? I'm sure we'd have talked about you know, they'd have come at us hard, but you know, we, we gave away a silly corner with another one that nobody in the ground even claimed for, but it was given as a corner. And it was from that passage of play, really, that we sort of, you know, they, they literally had us pinned back for five or six minutes. And, uh, um, you know, we've, would you say that we were creators of our own downfall there, or, 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 or do we just give them credit? Uh, possibly. Um, I think we have to give them a little bit of credit. I think they've probably got a bit of a telling off at half time, and they're always going to come out positive and pressing us and I think a couple of decisions went against us um, maybe didn't come out as sharp as we should have done I think just uh, all of it adding together is, and it's they've taken the run of play and got a couple of goals out of it. Well let's take it back a bit to the to the, the highlights really from our point of view of today and that was a, a very hard working performance in the first half and we weathered the storm somewhat didn't we and then caught him with a sucker punch and uh, a good set piece at goal it was a good knockdown from Luke Oliver and a great timed run and, and finish from yourself um, you don't catch him much more sweetly than that do you? No, no. Um, I, I sort of know Luke he's six foot seven I know he's going to win some headers yeah. so I just get out on it really just, I don't want to really get involved in all that. I'm not particularly going to win any big headers so I thought I'd just hold off make a late run and it obviously worked out yeah I caught it nicely it was holding up in the sun a little bit, so it was a difficult one, but I'll take it. I did give you credit actually on air a couple of times in the first half, although it didn't actually lead to anything. You had a couple of, you won a couple of amazing headers, great leaps, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. And you'd be like, well, you, you know, you beat your man, but uh, sadly we didn't, you know, we didn't have enough around you. Um, as far as the game goes, then we've we've, we've gone in one nil up at half time, and uh, one thing that seemed very very strange to me, we'd all have had different perspectives, but really really shocked by the penalty really because there was so much pushing and shoving going on and I saw Luke Oliver pulled off yeah. of the ball and had the referee's eyes been on that surely he'd have given a free kick to us but <sighs> difficult to actually make a decision in those circumstances. Yeah it's a disappointing one to concede really because in every game you'll get 10-15 of them where you could probably give penalties if you yeah. miss that one and I don't know what's made him pick out that one at all because it happens in both boxes more than you can even say and if the refs are giving them, he's got to give it to them for the end of the game. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't, I couldn't really, like I said, there's bodies in there, it's tough to see what actually went on, but a few of the boys, they don't know what, what happened either, so yeah. it's, it's hard to take because, like I say, we felt we could have had one of them, or, but it's, it's, such, it's such a shame because it, I think that's what got them. Mm. On the front foot. I think lots of credit to Grimsby. Obviously, they've turned around. Both, you know, a difficult situation today. Un a little unlucky, perhaps, to be one 0 down at half time. They kept the crowd on side, and boy, did they get their rewards second half. But we have to look at ourselves. And for me, as a supporter, first and foremost, the one big disappointment for me today was that we just didn't keep the ball well enough throughout most of the game. Was was this discussed at all at half time about keeping the ball better, um, or is it something that your teams generally trying to work on? Yeah, you always want to. You always want to keep it better. Um, I mean, we normally we work on it training every day, and we're normally really good at keeping the ball. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what what it was today. That, but yeah, it seemed a bit a bit panicky, a bit rushed. Um, you know, like I say, we're normally really decent at that, though. So I don't know what's. I don't know what happened. I try and work on it Monday, and then yeah. go again Tuesday. A word about your own form and and and, and how patient you've had to be, really. Um, that's you know one shining. You know, thing of beauty really for all the shot right now. You know, and for yourself, your own form, four goals now, I think, in, in three or four starts, and uh, you must be relishing having finally got the opportunity. Yeah, I've always been waiting for these starts. I'd like to think I was patient and good attitude. Um, I've kept working hard in training, and I, I knew as soon as I get the start and get sharp, I knew I'd score goals here. So it's not really, I'm just doing my job really for, for me, but mm. it's, it is nice scoring goals, that's what I'm going to do. 
Obviously, you know, pretty new squad really, and a new manager. So, like you said, you had to wait your your opportunity. And great to see that you've taken it with both hands. When you look at the upcoming fixtures, obviously this is the start of a run of four games in two weeks. Um, there's another couple of really difficult away trips. Barrow, just for the sheer length of the journey, let alone what we're going to face when we get there, and then swiftly followed by Tranmere. But before that, Tuesday night, a really early opportunity to bounce back from a four-run defeat, and, and, and surely that's a good thing. Yeah, we've had a few of them this year where we've we've lost on a Saturday, and then we've had we had the brain tree on the Monday to get it out of our system. Yeah, we've got Tuesday night where at home we're expecting to go out and win convincingly, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it is like everyone says it, it's a cliche, but it's nice that you have that game really quick, get it out and try and get a win. And there's no easy games, of course, at this or any level of football, really, but um, it's a staggering stat now. That actually, so far in the 10 games we've played, we've played seven of the top 10 sides in the conference. Yeah. Does it feel like that to you as a player? Do you just take each game as it comes or do you look at the fixtures and think, well, you know, there, there might come a run that's, you know, we, we could get more of a run going, you know, of, of wins? Yeah, I mean... You, you sort of have a look and think, yeah, we've played the top eight and we've we've done well. We've got eleven points, or but mm. but then again, anyone can beat anyone in this league. Like we we were coming here, we wanted we expected to win. Um, we'll go Barrow, Tranmere, expecting to win. So it, you do half look at it, but I think anyone can beat anyone. I can say. Well, thanks for coming out and having a word. It's always difficult to get pulled after uh, after a defeat, but uh, well done on your own form and. Uh, have a good We'll see you again Tuesday night.